Want to see something cool? Management is shaking like they're shitting razor blades, so the word among the herd is that we're rocking upgrades. You can measure high voltage and current directly, but the kit to do that costs more than the C-suite shit goblins are willing to spend on anything but their own bimbos, blow, and bonuses. While working at one of my favorite places on the toxic waste side of the city, I happened upon some electromagnetic artifacts and felt compelled to share these with you. The pair there looking like Bauhaus designed V-twins are a set of potential transformers. They drop the primary voltage way down from flaming to mild at about 120 volts, and metering for that is cheap as chips. The tall ones that look like a bucket on a butt plug are current transformers. Those do the same thing for current flow, taking us down to the 5 amp range. With those two datums and a dash of diddling digits, we can solve for watts. Note the wire size going into these. We're not dealing with a lot of amps here. The reason those CTs are so tall is because they have to isolate the high voltage. The current itself isn't much of a problem. Add in a software-based sundial and we can solve for watt hours, and that's how the power company measures the exact angle to bend you over every month. This is much the same as that antique residential meter I just showed you, but for the industrial scale. This measures the power for this whole little substation. It used to be for the factory there. And that's more energy than the average suburban neighborhood. A few coils of wire in the right arrangement with a twist of math can perform miracles. These have been working here nonstop for longer than I've been dating your mom. Look at the design of those. They're new enough to be polymer, but old enough to have a DANGER WILL ROBINSON vibe. And that's pretty cool.